Hi there, welcome to Moxa Security Talks. My name is Jesse and I'm the host. Today we have invited a cybersecurity consultant, Kerry Kong from YNY Technology. YNY Technology has been ranked as a high growth company in the Financial Times ranking for Asia Pacific 2020. It provides industrial automation solutions and consultancies on digital transformation. Gary's expertise include ITOT security management and offensive security, helping customers to improve their security programs, particularly on industrial control systems, ICS. Hello, Gary. Welcome to the show. Hi, Jesse. Thanks for having me. Great to be here. You're very welcome. The honor is ours. Now, YNY Technology started investing in cybersecurity several years ago, for instance, hiring cybersecurity architects and some professionals like you in order to provide more comprehensive suggestions and solutions to customers. Have you noticed any changes of cybersecurity landscape in the industrial control systems during the past maybe three to five years? For example, increasing in remote access directly to ICS might be exploited by malicious parties? Yeah, thanks, Jesse, for the questions. Um, yes, y and Technology has been actively working to raise the awareness of digital transformation mm -hmm. since 2016. Yeah, even before the Malaysian government launched the Industrial Forward National Policy back in 2018, yeah, we, are, we are also a certified government readiness assessor body for this Industrial Forward Policy. So in Malaysia alone, during our assessment of manufacturing companies, we have observed several changes in the cybersecurity landscape. Mm -hmm. You know, today, companies are catching up with the trend and are started to move towards industrial 4.0. Mm -hmm. This is where we found out that the OT network is starting to connect and, and pass the operational data from access, uh, processors, and also the products to the IT network or the internet for better business planning. But, but don't forget that this open connectivity change is also creating opportunities for more attack surfaces for the hackers to perform mm -hmm. the cyber attacks on ICS. Um, with more remote access connection, imagine when, when a hacker managed to compromise your enterprise resource planning ERP system, mm -hmm. the hacker could then try to access to your MES, manufacturing execution system database, and modify the production data, such as production scheduling, also, when the hacker reached the OT network, he could try to stop the machine and cause mm -hmm. unplanned downtime. That's one of the attack flow that the hackers have designed to compromise the ICS. Understood. So you mentioned a couple of changes, Industry 4.0 and also more connectivity between the OT and IT networks. Did these changes have any impact on your customers' requirements when it comes to cybersecurity? Yeah, definitely. Quite often, IT professionals want to get operational data from the OT environment for a better decision making. Right? Mm -hmm. In some of our customer cases, the OT professionals share with us that their IT team has decided to connect their OT network to the IT network. But mm -hmm. the OT team definitely doesn't have the confidence about this change. Right? Mm -hmm. As they mm -hmm. bad experience with the ransomware attack before, that took them a couple weeks to recover their system. Right. Mm. So, therefore, in this case, it is recommended to have a secure network architecture design, such mm -hmm. as network segmentation, DMZ, to reduce the risk of traps coming from the IT network. I see. So, well, if I were the OT operator at the floor side and all our systems were air gap before, but now it's connected to the IT network, I would be super worried. So from YNY Technologies experience, what is the top cybersecurity concern customers have when it comes to digitalizing their automation processes? And also, what is some frequently asked questions that you've heard from customers? For example, any specific cybersecurity technical requirements or what are their concerns when it comes to this? And if you have any recommendations, feel free to share it with us. Well, there are some common questions that customers would like when we approach them. Right. The first one will be, um, will this solution affect the operation performance? Mm -hmm. The second one is, will this cause any production downtime? Right. Mm -hmm. So most of the companies are very cautious when dealing with the cybersecurity. To mm -hmm. overcome this issue, a proper planning and testing are required to identify the possible impacts prior to the implementation of the cybersecurity solution. I see. So there are some IT players, as I know, that are trying to come into the OT network 
come into the OT market of cybersecurity. And there are some IT cybersecurity solutions out there that are implemented in the OT environments. Has OneWay technology seen OT customers doing so to secure their factories and OT environments? And if so, did the customers encounter any issues and turn to OneWay technology for assistance? Yes, we, we have seen quite a lot of the similar cases. Um, YY Technology has always been working with our customer IT professionals as well mm -hmm. for the cyber security projects. Um, that, that's, that's how we managed to break the barrier between the IT and also the OT. Mm -hmm. Some of our customers are trying to secure their OT environment with the IT firewall and mm -hmm. the M protection solution. Mm -hmm. And our customers are well aware that this is insufficient, right, in protecting mm -hmm. the OT environment by just yeah. playing the IT firewall in front of the OT network. Mm -hmm. However, most of them ignore the impact, even though they know that the solution doesn't have the knowledge about the industrial network protocol and the attacks can be done at the supervisory or the process level. Mm -hmm. Some of our customers also told us that uh, they are forced to turn off the protection on the Empire protection solution, right? Wow. So, Mm -hmm. This is to prevent the scan of the Empire Protection Solution, mm -hmm. which will make the OT system unresponsive, right? Trust affecting their operational performance. It is a worrying and high risk decision as this system is open to vulnerability and also the intruder. Yeah. So, what, what my technology will do is we provide a proof of concept to our customers to demonstrate the strength of protection brought by the solution we propose. We will also analyze the impact of the system performance on our customers and work very closely with them right, to, to minimize the downtime. Mm -hmm. Overall, if the customer adopts this best practice, we have confidence that it will boost the OT and also the IT professional trust during the whole project implementation. I see. So you mentioned the IT players, they have some IT solutions and just using the IT solutions are insufficient because they might not understand the industrial protocol and also the industrial systems. In this case, can you share an example where an improper cybersecurity implementation in the OT networks may jeopardize the effectiveness of that measure? Yeah, sure. In one of our cybersecurity projects, we have conducted a vulnerability assessment to identify the security weaknesses and the misconfigurations in the customer current manufacturing environment. Mm -hmm. And during the assessment, we were surprised to find that their industrial firewall is using the default login name and also the password, right? Such wow. as okay. you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. This kind of the login information can be easily obtained by searching yes. the product manual on the internet, right? Can you imagine that if an intruder or the insider managed to access to this firewall, right, with the default password? What will be happen then? A lot of the things can be done, right? For example, yes. firewall rules can be modified to allow the untrusted connection, giving direct access from the IT to OT network. So this vulnerability defeats the purpose uh, of deploying a firewall. Understood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically a firewall that is poorly configured is basically a useless firewall, right? So, so can you please share your experience on what you would recommend to customers who are at different maturity stages of their cybersecurity development? So for example, a company that just started to implement cybersecurity measures and doesn't know much about cybersecurity, but they really like to focus on the system availability versus a company that has implemented cybersecurity and maybe has a team composed of OT and IT professionals. Yeah, yeah, sure. Based on my experiences, no matter which cybersecurity maturity stage the customer is at, I think performing an ICS health check is a great starting point for them mm. so that they are aware of the level of cybersecurity risks they are exposed to. Only then shall we propose necessary remediations and also the solutions based on our findings to reduce the risk in a cost effective manner. However, uh, for a company that is just starting to implement cybersecurity measures, we will suggest the customer fine-tune their existing device configurations to reduce the potential threats and maximize the security capability of the device. I see. I think you mentioned a very important point and that is to fine-tune your components in the network. In this case, have you seen any good practices from vendors who have provided cybersecurity or security products? Yes. Over the course of our project implementation journey, Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are grateful to have the chances to collaborate with different vendors from different backgrounds 
Mm-hmm. And Foxan certainly is one of our favorite partners to work with. Mm-hmm. And uh, we really have a good experience working with the Voxa. Voxa would always emphasize the security design of the network to, to solve our customer real problems instead of the product features. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, we also found that the security features and the interface to implement security controls on the Moxa devices are user-friendly, yeah, can be easily executed, which can actually help the OT professionals to manage their network devices better. Yeah. I think this is the one of the important consideration to select a good vendor yeah, that can achieve the customer security objective. Most of, the vendor, most of the vendors may only be focusing on the network security features. Right. Mm-hmm. They, they are not applicable or not suitable for the customer existing OT environment. Mm-hmm. So, we would really recommend the customers to select a good cyber security consultant and a good hardware vendor for a better return on investment. Understood. Thank you. Thank you very much for mentioning Moxa here. I think we enjoy working with YNY technology as well. So Moxa's products are also designed based on the IEC 62443 standards and providing a good basis for the people starting their cybersecurity journey. Are there any further suggestions on companies who have already implemented cybersecurity measures? I think for the companies that have already implemented cybersecurity measures, risk assessments and the vulnerability assessments are very important. Right? Mm. These, these two points are key to verify the performance and the effectiveness of the cybersecurity measures that companies have implemented. Mm-hmm. From, from the assessment finding, the customer will be able to know that yeah, whether their security requirements are met. For example, mm-hmm. um, when, when I help my customer with the assessment, I found out that they are not protecting their PLC. Right? Mm-hmm. Anyone with the access to the PLC can just stop the device anytime. Right? Trust yes. control production line with just one click. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is critical right, to have a proper risk assessment and vulnerability assessment, even if you think you already have the most expensive cybersecurity system in your facilities. Yeah. Understood. So the most fancy solutions might not be the right solutions for you, right? It really depends on your whole risk assessment and what you want to protect and choosing the right countermeasures. So, wow, Gary, thank you very much for sharing so much information and useful tips with us today. I'm sure our audiences must have taken a lot of notes during these few minutes. So to conclude really quick, I've personally put down some three key takeaways, and they are, first of all, customers are now requesting network segmentation, such as DMZs. They are also concerned if the solutions they adopt will affect their operation. And second, if IT firewalls and import protections aren't very appropriate in the OT network, since these products lack knowledge about industrial systems and protocol, and thus they might interfere with the whole operation. And lastly, a good way to start boosting the cybersecurity on your network is to configure your device settings securely and correctly. Yeah, thank you, Jesse, for summarizing what we have discussed so far. Yeah, we, we all know that all, at the end of the day, the business mm-hmm. owner wants to keep their business operation running, right? So yeah. uh, yes, probably you have an OT firewall in your network now, mm-hmm. and your network architecture diagram looks secure but you will still require verification on the device settings and their protection level to give you a better assurance and a better return of investment. I strongly agree with that. Now, before the end of the show, can you please give our audience some advice based on YNY Technologies' successful experience, no matter whether they are just embarking on their cybersecurity journeys or if they are already on their way? I would say that the cybersecurity is one of the key enablers for Industrial 4.0 and can't live without it, right? Not to mention excluding it from your overall digital transformation strategy planning. Mm-hmm. Based on our experiences in implementing the cybersecurity projects, to secure the OT environment and reduce the security uh, attack surfacing during the IT and OT conversion, mm-hmm. the security measures shall be integrated into every step of the project implementation, right? Right from the start of the project planning to ensure the cyber resiliency. And when it comes to the industrial cyber security, whom you partner with is always a crucial point. Yeah, the mm-hmm. system integrator, the software and the hardware vendors play an important part in your cyber defense strategy. Right? The, the cyber security ecosystem, which comprise of the IT professionals, the OT professionals, and the system integrators should work together, right? Make sure everyone is talking the same language mm-hmm. to define the security requirements clearly. 
in order to achieve the company cybersecurity strategy goal. Mm -hmm. At YY Technology, our customer trusts us to provide them with effective cybersecurity industrial solutions, which ensure the business resilience and drive the sustainable growth. Hence, we always work hand in hand with the ecosystem to ensure that the leading data security and risk management principles are embedded throughout our whole system implementation. And once again, thank you, Moksa, for having me here today. I really appreciate it. All right, thank you, Gary. I really like when you mentioned cybersecurity is one of the key enablers to Industry 4.0 and that everybody is working on this issue together to try to overcome this challenge. All right, this is Moxa Security Talks with Gary Kong from YNY Technology. Please subscribe and follow us to learn more about the latest cybersecurity trends from experts in the OT industry. See you next time.